Hey everybody, today is super exciting. We have so many updates and so many different games. Today we're going to be talking about Hearthstone, Overwatch, and League of Legends. So both Overwatch and League of Legends just got a new character. They're not released yet, but they were shown. And Hearthstone is showing their new expansion. So we're going to quickly talk about each of them, not for very long. Maybe in a week or two, once these things are more fleshed out, more details added, I'll make a more in-depth video. Let's start with League of Legends, since this one shows probably the least amount of information. All we know so far is this teaser video. We kind of know her abilities from the video, uh, but you guys can see for yourself. I'm going to play the video right now. Okay, so that's pretty much it for her. I'm gonna personally say I'm super excited. Her looks is kind of a mix between Annie and Jinx, and I love Annie. I don't really like Jinx, so I guess we'll see where this is gonna go. But I am pretty hyped about this one. And next is Overwatch, which also got a new hero, Miora. I hope I'm saying this right. I'm not sure. She is a support hero, but does a surprising amount of DPS. The teaser for her was shown at BlizzCon, and here it is. We are bedeviled by the mysteries of creation. Science can reveal the truths that lie behind these many questions. What we learn can unlock the true potential of humanity. To the shadows. Tell me how this feels. <laughs> Come to me and I will heal you. I will unmake you. <laughs> Simple geometry. Lights out. <laughs> Surrender to my will. Allow me to repair the damage. I feel unstoppable. My will made real. So yeah, we can kind of quickly go through her abilities. Her Bionic Grasp. Bionic Grasp. Using her left hand, Miura expends biotic energy to heal allies in front of her. Her right hand fires a long range beam weapon that saps enemies' health, healing Miura and replenishing her biotic energy. Basically, heal or damage. Biotic Orb, Miura launches a rebounding biotic sphere. She can choose between a regenerative effect that heals the allies it passes through or a decay effect that deals damage to enemies. Once again, heal or damage. Fade, pretty much like Flash in the Legends, you teleport. And this is super useful for support crit. This is super useful for support characters who don't have DPS that protect them. That's pretty good. And her ultimate, Miura channels a long range beam that both heals allies and bypasses barriers to damage your enemies, which is pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys want to check her out, uh, there's already some videos because she was shown off at BlizzCon, which is really really cool. And I play healer a lot in Overwatch. And this is going to be a really cool mix between DPS and support, and I probably will play her. Lastly, we have Hearthstone with its new expansion. Once again, if I pronounce this, I'm sorry. Kabolds and Catacombs. Kabolds and Catacombs. So basically, they just kind of showed it off at BlizzCon, which is going on right now. But they did add some things to the game.
Legends tell of a vast underground world and the countless treasures that lie in store for worthy adventurers. You've signed up the best. You're on a great quest to find the mighty Mother Lode. There's treasure galore, but perils in store and construction that isn't up to code. Trespass with care, there's sure to be something rare. You can grab all the loot that you can handle. Such riches you'll own, but leave one thing alone. Steal the light, you then must take flight, eluding each hazard and each threat. It's a chaotic race as the monsters give chase, and all the while you're trying to follow the map. They're gaining on you, your options are few, and you fear that you're never gonna get home. You sought after wealth, will you lose all your health? To kobolds and catacombs. Yeah! It's kobolds and catacombs! There's single player content being added which are the dungeon runs. When your dungeon run starts, you'll choose a hero and receive a starting deck consisting of 10 cards. You'll use it to overcome 8 encounters of increasing difficulty. Completing a dungeon run with each of the 9 classes gives you the Candle King card back. And some new cards were revealed and you could see them in front of you. Marin the Fox, Battle Cry, Summon a 0-8 Treasure Chest from your opponent, Break it for Loot, and then these 3 are the Loot, Destroy your op opponent's left and right most minions, Recruit a minion, after you cast three spells in a turn, summon a 5-5 dragon. But yeah guys, once again, I'll cover these more in depth once we get more detail to them. But I'm super excited. Three of my favorite games are getting updates. That's crazy. Anyway, if you guys liked this video, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.